guys, thanks for watching. So today I am going to be doing my September and my October favorites. I do have quite a bit of things to go through because I have been accumulating for the past two months of all the things that I just think are awesome and I've definitely deemed favorite. So I'm just going to jump right into this. I don't want to talk too much in the beginning. So the first thing I am going to talk about has been raved about for years on YouTube and all the beauty gurus, even like professional makeup artists. And I just was like, no way. It's too expensive. That, you know, I just didn't believe that it could be that good. So one day I just decided, you know what? Let me just try it because the reviews on this product are so amazing. This brush cleaner is everything and more. I don't even know where to start. This stuff is absolutely amazing. As you can see, I've used a lot of it and I have only had this for like two and a half, three weeks tops now. I don't even think I've had it a complete month. It's amazing. I freaking love it. It really does clean your brushes and it's so freaking simple. Normally when I clean my brushes, I use like an antibacterial soap and then I mix it with like a little bit of olive oil and clean them that way. That is just so damn time consuming. And then I was trying the Real Techniques brush cleaner, which I didn't like. It actually wound up ruining quite a few of my makeup brushes. So I was like, I need to find something because I am not one to clean my makeup brushes often. I know I need to get on the bandwagon with that and start cleaning them a little more. I'm not kidding when I tell you my makeup brushes will be like caked up before I actually like do a deep cleanse. I do have like this here, which is the It Cosmetic Brush Bath, and I do use this for like spot treating cleaning. Spot treating cleaning? Yeah, spot, spot treatment cleans, what? Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. So I will use this like in between, like when I need to clean a brush off so I can use it immediately, and this stuff works really good, but I needed something to do a deep cleanse, and I just bit the bullet and bought the big bottle. This was like 38 or $39. I ordered it on Amazon, and I just have to say this shit works. I mean, it works. It dyed quite a few of my brushes blue, unfortunately, which I wasn't expecting, which I did read that in a couple of the reviews that the scent of the vanilla is very strong and that it does dye brushes. I just didn't want to believe that though, so I just bit the bullet and bought it. It unfortunately does dye your brushes blue if you do not wipe them out enough and the vanilla scent, holy shit, is strong. I didn't think it was that bad at first and then as the days are going by and I'm still using these brushes, I'm like, why the fuck isn't this scent going away? And me and vanilla do not get along at all. When you're actually cleaning the brushes with this, it smells more of like an alcohol, but then as it dries out, it just smells like straight up vanilla. I was not expecting that. So I kind of like hold my breath now when I'm using like my big fluffy face brushes because it just smells so much like vanilla and I really can't, I can't, it just gives me a damn headache. I honestly wish they would take the damn scent out of this because this is an amazing cleaner. It's just the scent is too much for me, but this is definitely a favorite. I will be ordering more as soon as I am like, you know, down here because I'm just going to panic. I love this. Super simple to clean your brushes. I feel like I'm talking a lot about it, but yeah, this is amazing. So two palettes that I have just been like going ham on lately are the two Huda Beauty, Huda, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. I don't know how you say it. The Rose Gold palette and then the Desert Dusk palette, yes. I went into Sephora, they were both on the same shelf together, and I was like, you know what, I don't own either of those, there's mixed reviews on them, let me just buy both and see if I like them. And I wound up really liking them. The Rose Gold one, the only problem I have with it is these damn glittery shades, they kind of like suck, just to be completely honest. Glitter glue doesn't do anything for you. Using your finger, honestly, I can't get them to stay on the lid even with that. And a brush, forget about it. You're not just, you're not gonna get anywhere with it. So all of the matte shades are amazing. The black is actually pretty decent. I do like it. I just do not like rose gold and trust fun. Those two suck. I don't like them. I don't use them. But all the other shades in here I do enjoy. I do still have the little film inside of the Desert Dusk palette only because I thought it was rather strange. And if you watch my Snapchat, you saw this. When I first bought the palette and I had taken that out and I had shut the top, let it sit overnight, and I came back to it the next morning, I had like oil all over the mirror and like all over the inside of the palette. And I filmed it on Snapchat because I was like, what the hell is going on? I don't know if like the oils that they use to make the uh, shimmery shades like was... I, I don't I don't even know. I couldn't even explain what the hell was happening. It was weird. I had to like wipe the whole palette down because of all the oils that were in there. I was like, huh. 
So that's why I keep this to separate the shadows from the mirror in case that happens again. Like I don't know if they were suffocating in there or what. I I don't know. It was really odd. So this palette I do really like a lot. I think I like every single shade except for the pressed glitter Cosmo. You have to use a glitter glue with it and I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm not really a fan of it. It is nice. I used it once but other than that. Eh. But all the other shades in here I absolutely love and I do like that this one does come with a mirror. You know as long as the uh, shades don't oil out again which was odd. But this is a really nice palette as well. Been using these for weeks and weeks now. Really enjoying them. My new favorite highlighting kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills is the Sugar Kit. Just really been loving this. I mix the shades a lot and then put them on my cheeks and on my nose and you know wherever else I feel like highlighting that day. It also looks really nice like dusted on the chest if you're going out. I know these aren't really like everybody's kind of highlighter shades but for us paler bitches it works. This Tarte blush palette has just been an absolute favorite. I can't. I think I use this every single day. I don't even think I've reached for another blush since I bought this. I did show this in my Ulta haul. I absolutely love it and I'm really excited because my boyfriend ordered me another Tarte blush um, kit for Christmas which I'm not really supposed to know about but I know about because like I had to do the order because I wanted the points on my Sephora account. <clears throat> anyway so Tarte blushes are just amazing. I swear every time like I get new blushes I tend to get Tarte blushes from like the higher end and then in the drugstore it's usually always Milani because Milani makes the best blushes. Another favorite highlighting palette that I've been using quite a bit lately is this one I got last year in November for the Sephora sale which they do have this out again but the packaging looks a little different. This is the Laura Mercier Fall in Love Face Illuminating Collection. I think it's still called the same thing. I looked at it online recently and it looks like the exact same shades in here. This here I know I have mentioned in another favorites but I used only this palette today on my eyes to create this eye look. I've been using this a lot lately. I've just been going for very simple basic makeup lately. I don't know why. Maybe because it's faster for me in the morning but I absolutely love this palette and guess what guys? I bought y'all one. For the giveaway that I'm going to be doing when I reach a thousand subscribers, one of these palettes is going to be in there because this is how much I love this. I wanted you guys to try it. These shadows are in freaking incredible and I just think that it would go with any skin tone. Like they're amazing and I really wanted one of my subscribers to try it out if they don't already have it. So this will be in the giveaway as well. These, I was a little up in the air when I had gotten them. These are the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. Do you drops? Do you drops? I don't know. This smell straight up smells like Play-Doh still to me. I had mentioned that when I had first talked about these. I was not a fan. But they look so beautiful on the body. I don't really use this on my face at all. But I will take like a pump of this with a brush and just put it like on my chest or on my arms if I'm going out and like I have some skin showing because this really does make your skin just look very glowy and beautiful. So I do like them. It's just the smell. I have a thing for smells, I guess. Like, I don't really like smell. This here is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I have a love-hate relationship with this, and let me tell you why. It makes you look absolutely beautiful. I love setting, like, my under eye area with it, but baking with it is like a big no-no and that is what I do because that's how I get my makeup to stay on for so long. I have to bake my makeup. So I have had to mix this with my Laura Mercier and a little bit of my RCMA powder. I know, I just like a chemist over here mixing shit together. So I mix them all together and I really like them but when I use too much of this, like if I don't measure it out right, too much of this gives like flashback in the camera and I cannot fucking sand that I really can't it just looks like I have all white underneath my eyes and it's not okay I do not like that so I do like it mixed with my other ones because it gives like a nice sheen almost to the skin but not too much where you look greasy it does a nice job it's just not by itself you cannot bake with this if you just were like quickly setting underneath your eyes and you were gonna be done you'd probably be fine but for me who likes to bake with it I can't just use this alone so yeah, love, hate, love, hate. But I have been using it for the past two months and I, I do like it, I guess, if I'm using it. <laughs> this here is just a little NYX um, glitter. I think it's in copper. I think it's in copper because it looks like a copper penny. I talked about this in my Ulta haul. 
I've just been loving this. I made like quite a few like pumpkin-y kind of holiday looking, you know, for Halloween looks with it. Really, really liked it. Um, but I did just place an order with Lit Cosmetics because you know what? I just love glitter so much. I was like, I'm just going to invest in some really good glitters and a really good glitter base. I've never tried them before. I actually just got the package today and I ordered them yesterday. Holy shit. I'm not going to open this on camera today though. I just cannot freaking wait to test these out because I hear such good things about them. But the NYX glitters are beautiful, don't get me wrong. It's just I do have a little bit of fallout even though I use a glitter glue. Maybe using the new Lip Cosmetics like base with the NYX glitters might do something. I don't know, but we will see. But this has just been a favorite. My new Found Glory lip liner. I think I talked about this in a recent video as well because I had gone to the drugstore while I was waiting to go to the dentist and just grab some lip liners. This is LA Girl lip liner in, what is this? I don't know where the color is. Is it natural creme? I don't know what the hell color this is. It's just a, it's what I have on my lips right now. I know it looks like any other freaking lip color that I normally wear on my lips kind of basic bitch but the um number is gp538 and it says natural creme but i don't know if that's like the kind of lip liner it is or if that's the name of it i don't see any other kind of nameage on here so yeah i don't know it's just been my favorite this here is my newfound glory favorite freaking mascara i cannot even tell you how much i really love this I had just randomly grabbed this in my last Ulta haul thinking like, eh, it might be good, and eh, it might not, I don't know. It was in like a little holiday gift set. It came with an eyeliner, and let me tell you, that eyeliner is amazing too. I'm going to talk about the next, but this freaking mascara, the wand, is like insane looking. Like, it's weird as fuck looking. I'm not even going to lie, but oh my god, it's freaking amazing. So, oh my god, I just love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know what it is. Maybelline's mascaras, I'm obsessed with. I think I love like every single one of them. But these Lash Sensationals are so good. And this is the Curvitude one. Just go out and try it. I absolutely love this. And this here is the Curvitude eyeliner that came in that gift set with the mascara. The freaking point on this is so freaking tiny. Like it makes, I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not. It makes like the finest of finest lines or you can make it thicker. Like, I mean, I'm just gonna draw up my hand a bunch so you guys can see like the different sizes of lines that you can make. I'm obsessed with this. I use this for Halloween looks. I was Minnie Mouse for Halloween, which I'm gonna insert pictures after and show you guys, but, and it's waterproof on top of it. Hello, how do you go wrong? Like you have to scrub this shit off, no joke. My newfound favorite foundation is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear. I absolutely love this. The only problem I have is I love to apply my foundation with a beauty blender and it seems like this just soaks straight into my beauty blender. I feel like I've wasted so much of it applying it with a beauty blender. I tried to do it with a brush and I just did not like the way it was looking because it dries pretty fast. You have like no time to work with it but it is so good. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. I did order another shade so that I can mix them to get the shade that I'm at now because this is a little too dark. So I ordered like a little bit of a lighter shade so I can mix them to try to get what I'm at now since they don't have a shade that matches me now. Yeah, I just, I absolutely love this. It stays on all day. It looks beautiful. It looks flawless. It's sweat proof, uh, rain proof. Like it's just like my Estee Lauder in a sense, just a little bit of a thicker consistency. So I'm obsessed with it. I haven't been able to stop using it. I love it. And you all know who have been my subscribers for a while that I am a picky bitch when it comes to my foundation because my makeup's on for how long? 15 hours. This here, I wasn't sure if I was really going to like, but I am obsessed with it. I am in love with it. I feel like it makes my makeup look so much better by the end of the day. It's like weird how much I like this. I only use it as a setting spray. I know you can kind of use it as like a prep spray, like as a primer. I don't use it for that. I love how fine the mist is. I love that it's like just a continuous stream. Still not really a fan of the smell. It smells like perfume or something. I don't... It reminds me, I'm not even kidding, of like the Frizzies hair gel. If you've ever smelled Frizzies hair, hair, uh, not hair gel, hair mousse. That's what it smells like. And I don't even freaking use mousses or 
anything in my hair, but that, it reminds me of that from when I used to like always scrunch my hair when I was blonde. So, I don't know. That's what it smells like, but I love it. It's amazing. I don't know. I like it a lot. And you get 2.8 fluid ounces in here. There's a lot in here. This hair, you guys are going to laugh. Oh, God. I always thought that this was such a stupid ass gimmick and that it, it was probably like the dumbest thing in the world. Why the fuck would somebody pay $15 for a bottle of this? There's no way it fucking works that good. I had a friend, and I'm not I'm not gonna say who my friend is because I don't want to embarrass them, but they have this and they swear by it, and I was just like, no fucking way that stuff really works. Like, no way. But they swear by it to the point where they buy multiple bottles. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I was in Bed Bath & Beyond. I had a $5 off coupon. And I was like, I don't know what else to buy. I was just wandering around the store. So I seen it. And I got it. <clears throat> this is the Poopery Spray Before You Go. <laughs> this is so awkward. It's so personal to talk about. It works. It, like, so totally works. I even bought, like, a little travel one so I could, like, stick it in my bra. <laughs> weird this sounds so weird but I'm serious like just so you know if I'm like somewhere and you know I have it you never know you never know but I got the big bottle and I got the travel size because it really does work I cannot believe how good this stuff works it's expensive as hell but it works so if you're like one of those people who's like you know you don't want other people to know when you have to go get this I'm not even kidding. And like the aroma of this, it actually goes throughout the room so the whole room smells good. It's weird. Like the whole bathroom area. I, I like it a lot. I don't want to talk anymore about it though because it's awkward. <laughs> and last but not least, I told you guys I dressed up as Minnie Mouse for Halloween. I did get these ears on Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys are interested in getting any, but they are um, like shimmery kind of ears. This, I'm not kidding, has probably been one of my most favorite costumes in like years me and my bus monitor dressed up as Minnie and she was Mickey Mouse I will insert pictures for you guys to see such a ball the kids freaking loved it our managers loved it like it was so much fun I kind of wish I had filmed like a makeup tutorial for you guys for this but I just kind of wing things very last minute I do not really plan anything out I just kind of like do it and hope for the best so and then on top of it to see another driver and monitor who are good friends of ours dress up as well as Crayola, which I just thought was so awesome. It was really good. It was a fun time. Yeah, guys, that was all of my September and October favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about any of the products that I showed, just leave them down below for me. I will link as many of these products as I can down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing any of them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching my favorites videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because when I reach a thousand, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.